Hey, wizard winches. So this is uh, how to fly broom 2.0 because uh, apparently I don't know how to do audio and well, it's, it's probably a Monday and all that crap. Anyway, so one of the first things you guys want to do is you want to change your settings. Once you change your settings, it's going to help you a little bit and you're going to have to kind of play around with it. Um, I found settings that I liked. So camera sensitivity, um, camera acceleration, and then also follow camera speed. Okay. so. These are the things you got to mess around with and kind of feather out, but you'll be able to do some pretty cool things, especially when it's coming to these races. It's going to make it a little bit more controllable. Okay, here we go. So what I also found is in these races, if you do it in the daytime, things are a little more visible and makes it a little bit easy. I now have a posted time of under 130. I think it's 128 or something like that. And that's only with one broom upgrade. But I'm talking about controllability because a lot of people are complaining about how easy it is to control the broom. So, what you need to do. As you're going through the hoops, you'll see the hoops, okay? Notice the rings are coming on your right hand side. Oh, missed it there. See, and you're starting to do a dog wag when you like go back and forth too much, right? You don't want to dog wag it. So, you want to aim your rings up and boost through the rings and then there we go up see otherwise you start to dog wag so you line yourself up bottom right so as you're going through you can kind of see where the rings are top right that's where i need to position my broom come down then boost through on the straightaways don't boost through on the turns does that make sense i think it makes sense it's kind of like driving 101 when you're driving a car you're not going to floor it through the corner or you're going to floor it through the corner and uh, whatever happens happens right so Line it up, see the rings are coming up on the right and the next one, so I know to be on that right hand side of the ring, just so I can miss all those three. <laughs> but it typically works, and that's a great strategy. So I do have some tips and tricks on cool things you can do on the broom. I'm gonna be doing a short on the little spinny cues. I call it the spiral down, then also the dog wag. The dog wags where you're kind of zipping through like a Star Wars stormtrooper through the trees, and you're wagging the back end of your, uh, your tail. No, it's not a tail. Your broom. That's what I meant. Broom. That's what you're wagging. Anyways, so I'm going to show a little bit of it here, but I've gotten far better at these techniques. It makes it fun while flying uh, rather than annoying and difficult, right? One of the things you want to do is, so when you're coming down to the ground, as you come down to the ground, you hit your boost and you'll kick up a little bit of dirt. If you keep on torquing your controller over, See how I'm whipping it around? If you do that at ground level, it's a cool entry. Um, does it have any perk to it? No, but it looks cool as shit when you're doing it. And uh, it feels more Harry Potter-ish, I guess. Does that make sense? Um, I also practice flying, just bobbing and weaving through things. Um, like I said, this was an early video and I'm not as good as I am now, but showing you a little bit of the dog wag left to right i'm gonna in my short i'll show you a severe dog wag and then you guys will get the gist of it anyways i have a hidden secrets of hogwarts coming out all the secrets that you didn't know i also have how to get to level three a la amora uh, super easy i already released that video how to find all those moon statues so please watch that as well and thanks for the feedback guys please like and subscribe um, if you ever have anything, I, I'm bored, so I like to make videos for you guys. So I do decrease stress, besides drinking. <laughs>